Welcome back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today we are going to start building this 1960 Ford Ranchero. Um, it's Coca Cola sponsored, obviously. Um, I previously did an unboxing video uh, of this kit, so I'm not going to be showing uh, you the parts at this time. I'm just going to get straight on into the building and uh, hope you enjoy. Let's get started.
All right, fellas, uh, the uh, Ranchero's coming right along. Uh, I'm waiting for the, uh, the body paint um, to dry. Camera settled down there a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've got it uh, all painted up red. Um, the chassis, I've got that all detailed. Um, I just need to do a little bit of touch up around the tailpipe here. The paint was a little runny. Um, the engine uh, is all painted and ready for uh, final assembly. I still have to do a little bit more detail on the interior parts. Um, I went with a red-white motif for the interior. Um, and the dashboard is painted the same color as the body. Um, I should be able to wrap this up in just a little bit. Um, I'm thinking about going with the uh, the three-spoke mag wheels um, on this particular build. Um, I'm going to do it do it up a little custom. Uh, I do have another one of these kits and um, I'm debating on well I already know what color I want to go with that but I'm debating on whether I should go as stock as possible or uh, build it just as radical as this one uh, with the parts given. Now, obviously I could go further with it um, if I had parts to do that. I was thinking about um, using these wider tires. Uh, these uh, Goodyear racing tires came with the uh, the 69 Torino and I was thinking about using these on this vehicle. Uh, the problem is um, they won't fit between the chassis and the body. I would have to either cut the body um, or uh, sh narrow the rear axle and that's not possible because it's molded into the chassis. So I'm going to go with the stock tires. I may look in my parts box and see if I have something that's a little bit wider um, that will still fit inside the wheel wells. Um, the front one's not a problem. It's the back one the way it's cut there. Um, the wider tires don't fit. Even the fender skirts that come with this kit don't match the arch of the wheel well. So I can't even use the fender skirts. Um, I think it would be better looking. And I wouldn't say better looking. I think it would be kind of cool looking with the fender skirts on there with the stock wheels. But um, that would require a bit of reshaping um, and right now uh, I'm kind of at a time crunch and I don't really have the, the time to take to reshape fender skirts. Uh, maybe on the uh, the other Ranchero build I'll take the time to do that but for right now uh, I'm just going to build this um, like I said with the three spoke mags and the uh, red white motif and uh, well, let's get started on this. I know I missed some of the parts where I painted the interior and I um, just forgot to turn the camera on. That's my fault this time. Uh, but from this point forward, let's push it all together and uh, head on into the final. I'm thinking about once this paint cures on the body, um, I think I'm going to add the dragonfly glaze to this just like I did the uh, 69 charger I think it makes the paint pop um, just having a straight red paint job is is good but I like that color flash pop that you get with the dragonfly glaze if you guys haven't tried that out yet um, you can pick it up at any craft store or Walmart in the craft section um, it is a acrylic craft paint um, but it airbrushes just beautifully and um, it gives you a, a pop to the paint that you just can't get from regular straight paint. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, here we are. I got the uh, interior assembled. Uh, with the exception of the uh, seat belts, I need to put those in yet. The uh, firewall is not quite finished yet. I need to kind of detail that. As well as the radiator support wall. Uh, that needs to be uh, detailed a little bit as well. As you can see, I have the engine in. I have the wheels on. Uh, a little caution here. When you're pushing these in, be careful. Because what happens is the plastic is so thin right there. I don't know if you can see it. But the... Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. The axle has pushed through the end of the wheel. And... Uh, now you can't see it anymore, but I had a nice little indentation in my finger when that thing slipped through. Um, I think the axles are just a little bit too long for this application. Um, you got a lot of side slop. I may have to take these back off and uh, trim that axle a little bit. Um, matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that on the front end because that is you know that is ridiculous but that's not a problem um, that's why I have a nice little Dremel tool to do the job for me uh, we're about 90 percent complete right now like I said I wanted to dragonfly glaze this uh, this red paint um, and then we'll be on to the final assembly um, as you can see like I said before I had the uh, chassis details look how much slop is in there that's just terrible uh, this one's almost as bad but then again it's poking through the wheel uh, luckily it's kind of hard to notice but uh, yeah okay let's uh, get finished up oh there was a couple of things I need to paint yet I need to paint the uh, tonneau cover I need to paint the uh, toolbox and there was one other thing where did I put that um, oh I need to paint the uh, coca-cola cooler yet I've got it primed I just gotta shoot the red paint on it and that won't take very long um, and then push all the stuff together uh, I think at this point, uh, next up will be the final. Okay, let me get this done, be right back with you. Alright fellas, uh, as you can see I got the paint just about perfect on that and uh, as you can see as well I have my bare metal foil sitting right here so you know what time it is it's bare metal foil time so let's get started on that
remember it's just as important to uh, burnish down the inside as it is the outside. Because if it starts to peel on the inside, well, it's all going to peel. See, there's nothing to it, guys. There wasn't a whole lot of surfaces on this particular body that needed chrome trim and I'm not even sure if the one to one car had this much but you know what the heck uh, it's my my kit I'll do it my way but as you can see I have it all around the uh, the windshield on that drip rail there around the back window along the edge of the bed and I still have to do the door handle back over here let me get that right now fellas bare metal foil is finished there wasn't a whole lot to do on this car body to begin with um, and I may have uh, gone a little overboard but then again I tend to do that anyway as you can see I got the windshield frame all done I did the drip rail on along the top side here I did the chrome around the back window and across the roof line and around the bed. Okay, we're on to uh, putting this all together, wrapping it up, and uh, yeah, that uh, really turned out really well. Let me get my fingy, fingy prints off of it. I got fingerprints all over this car now. There you go. See you in a minute.
All right, guys. Uh, I had read on some forums um, about how. Well, there was a few people that were saying that there were no attachment points for the grill on this vehicle. Well, I don't know if that's true or not, but on the back side of the grill, you can see there's pins. And those pins mount against your radiator wall, but you also have these little pins right up here on each side that would uh, could be facilitated to mount this grill assembly in here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paint, or yeah, take a little bit of paint off of those spots, and let me see where those pins line up here. There we go. Oh wait, I don't know if those pins will actually reach the firewall. Or the radiator support wall, I should say. No, they don't. So you have to rely on basically... Oh, I messed that up. Basically, maybe these surfaces here. And... Yeah, just on the body, on the corners of the body right here, and those pins that I just scraped the paint off of. So, I need to let me look at that one more time. I want to make sure that when I attach this, it stays attached. I'll just uh, I'll put a little super glue up here and see if the super glue will hold it in place. I gotta get to it first though. Okay, uh, let me. Uh, Get this attached, uh, get the decals on, and I'll be back for the final. Welcome back. Here it is, completed the 1960 Ford Ranchero in the Coca-Cola livery. Um, this was a, a pretty fun build, and uh, I recommend it for you guys. Um, it, there was no warp issues, there was no flash issues not really i mean there was a little bit of flash but very little very very little um other than that it was a terrific build and as you can see my coca-cola paraphernalia is multiplying um so i have a little bit uh from this kit was the uh the cola cola uh reefer here two cases a jack, two gas cans, and a toolbox came with this kit. Um, it also had an optional wall mount. Um, I am not going to use that, but um, it's in the kit if you choose to use it. Um, it basically assembles, you attach it to the wall, and then you set your car on that display, or on that mount, I should say. Um, with this you can probably see that it's um, doing a little color flash in the uh, paint job and that's due to the dragonfly glaze I just love that stuff um, the bare metal foil work I did was just around the, the roof line basically and around the bed if I can get the tonneau cover off there we go uh, just around the bed edges and uh, that was all the bare metal foil I did on this car. It didn't really have a lot of areas on it that you could do bare metal foil. So I just did what I thought would be the normal places to do it. And it turned out really well. Um, as you can see, they have the two-tone interior with the I did in red and white. And um, that's about it. Uh, in the stills I'll have the hood open and you can see the engine but um, yeah that's it it's done well uh, 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below and I will um, reply to those. I love comments, so please leave me a comment. If you don't like it, sorry. Leave me a comment. If you do like it, great. Leave me a comment. Also, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. What the heck? Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching Scale Auto Guys Workbench. See you on the next build. Thank you.